Hello beautiful people, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, my name is Cosmina and in today's video we're gonna play with some of my favorite products that, well they used to be my favorites, we'll see if they're still my favorites, I think they're still my favorites. Another thing that we're gonna play with today is gonna be this little number that I just received last week from uh, Colourpop, this is the Mandalorian, the Child Palette. I'm excited to play with it, and if you're excited too, keep on watching. So first things first, let's talk about moisturizer. So this is one of my favorite moisturizer. It is tested, it has been uh, repeatedly and crazily um, repurchased and repurchased and repurchased, and this has been and my favorites, I think, for more than two years. And this is List Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator. I absolutely love this. I always repurchase it. I tried some other moisturizer, but this is just absolutely gorgeous for daytime. And it's just transforming into water the minute you put it on. It's just so, and it's feeling so good on the skin. And it makes my skin hydrated and ready to go it's, it's just been so good to have this especially in the winter because in the winter times i get a lot i get dehydrated a lot and i do need something like that during the summer not as much because during the summer i have uh oily skin. now for eye cream i gotta say i have not found an eye cream that is my favorite just yet have not I have been trying a bunch of things but I have not found anything that is necessarily a favorite but one that comes close to it is this one that I have right here this is from Neuron and it's called Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes because I like this one because it's actually taking care of the dryness under my eyes um all the other ones are feeling way too dry for my under eyes this one is the only one that kind of gets my under eye area a little bit more moist now next thing it is one of my favorite things this again is one of those things that i have repurchased for so many times that is insane i repurchased this so 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 many times and this is this primer from Ulta Beauty. This primer from Ulta Beauty is called Coreless Face, Face Primer that it's mineral oil free and paraben free and it's supposed to smooth and refine pores. I absolutely love this thing. I haven't used it for a little while. This is absolutely amazing for those people that have a little bit more of a larger pores. Just so you know, the consistency and the feeling of it, it feels a little bit silicone-y but I don't have a problem for, with that. I love it the way it feels on my skin. I just push it in mm, mm, and immediately, immediately just deletes my pores to make them smooth, makes my face so much smoother, especially in the times when I do have, let's say, some big um, things going on with my face especially with the mask acne right it definitely makes it look smaller and i love that and the makeup is going on top of it so much better and looking so much better now for uh sponges like face sponges right i have here three of them that i want to talk to you about this one right here it is uh, of course the beauty blender which i absolutely adore but a second close one it's this one and i believe this one is from real technique i think it was the diamond shape or something like that that this was part of and then for the under eye this is an elf concealer um sponge absolutely love this one so i'm gonna go with this one for now and apply again one of my favorite foundations if not i think this one and there's another one that is like right over there um but this one is definitely an amazing amazing product and i repurchased this one multiple times as well and this is born this way too faced and i have this one in golden i hope it still matches me because uh I have to say this year, I haven't got any, any, like I'm telling you, no sun whatsoever. 
I didn't get exposed to any freaking sun and I am the lightest I ever been in my entire life and I'm not liking it. Uh, just saying. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead with this. I absolutely love this thing. Why I love this um, foundation is because it makes your skin look like skin but much better, right? It just... It covers all those imperfections that you want to cover and it makes everything look smoother um, and for the um, beauty blender or the application the sponge I love the sponge because this one I can work so fast and it has all this little corners and things like that that I can get in corners that I can't usually reach with other ones like the round ones or stuff like that so this one I absolutely love because of that and it's so so squishy I love it it's so soft it feels really nice on the skin and it works really fast and now that we're done with foundation let's go to concealer I do not have my most favorite concealer in my collection at the time at this time my most favorite will have to be Tarte Shape Tape but one that is very close to that one and I actually really enjoy is this one from Benefit. This is Boing Cakeless Concealer. And I have mine, I believe, in five. This concealer, you don't have to apply too much because it's actually very powerful. So you only have to apply just a little bit. And you have to work a little faster with this one because it can dry down real fast. And now to set it, I'm going to go in with uh, Maybelline Fit Me in Light Medium. I used to love this so much. I'm not necessarily that keen on it anymore. I have found a few other things, but I'm still actually... I found a few other things that I do enjoy just a little bit more. But I also have... A few more others to try so this one used to be one of my favorite not so much anymore and right, we're gonna let that sit over there for a little bit and then for setting my face I always used to go in with this one right here is the same fit me Maybelline and this one it is in medium and I do like this one for my face I would not necessarily, I mean, it depends. Depends how dry I am, right? Because this one is, it is a little bit drying, just so you know. So if you're worried about that, just don't apply too much, just a little bit. But it is very covering. I mean, I love the fact that it covers a lot. I love the fact that it sets my makeup in for hours and hours on end. So that one I really, really appreciate. Now for my bronzer, this is where it's a really weird thing. I don't know where my favorite bronzer is. I don't know. I looked where I usually keep my bronzers and I could not find it there. So I don't know where the heck did I put it. But my favorite bronzer, it is Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I cannot find it. I need to find it. And I will find it after after I film this, I will find it. But another one that I absolutely love is this one from Ulta Beauty. And this is a matte bronzer. And ew, I love this so much. I am almost close to finish this. Like seriously, I'm close to pan this thing. And I have never, well I did pan a butter bronzer before. But I have never finished one like this before, right? This is definitely a smaller one, but still, like, it, look at this. Just look at that. How is that even possible to be able to do that? We just want to swipe, and look how beautiful it looks on my skin. Look how beautiful it looks. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's so cheap, too. Like, for real, this is absolutely gorgeous to have in your makeup kit. Let's say you're a beginner, and you just want to... You want something that you can rely on as a bronzer, but you don't have a lot of money to spend. Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty bronzer, matte bronzer, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it stays on your skin 
all day because I have used it for a long time now and it's just so pretty. Just look at that. It's so freaking gorgeous. I love it. Love it. For blush. For blush it was a little bit more difficult because it was like, mm, I don't know, I have a few that I like. I do. I actually do have a few that I like. But I decided to go with this one. This one is actually uh, from Hourglass's Diffused Heat Ambient Lighting Blush. <sighs> I'm so pretty. I love this thing so much. Let me show you how beautiful it looks on your skin. Like this. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Just look at that. Just. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I absolutely adore this. I quickly had to go off camera so I can do my brows, but I don't have any of the brow products that I love uh, available right now. I do love this one from Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil, but I just finished it. There's nothing left. <laughs> so I just went in and filled in my brows with just the um, um, eyeshadow. Uh, and but I do put something every day still and I do have this is blink eye eyebrow mousse this isn't clear I always <laughs> I keep saying I want to get this one in the color but every time I go in the color that I want is sold out in the mini and I just don't want to get the big one and it's just really rough but I still have this one in clear and I absolutely love it. Now, are you guys ready to go and play with this beautiful eyeshadow palette? Because I am. I did play with, with it once before and I absolutely love it. Full disclaimer, I love it. <laughs> but yes, let's go ahead and play with this one. This is how it looks like. Um, and this is oh, so pretty. I absolutely love this. I do hate the fact that ColourPop keeps, keep releasing stuff. Just like every three days they have some sort of release. And I'm like, oh my god, calm down, chill. Okay, I don't, I can't give you all my money. So stop with the releases, would you? <laughs> okay, so let's see. What are we going to do today? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do have a class later. So I don't want to go too crazy. If you don't know, I have started, and I don't think you know, but I have started um, school again. I'm actually going in for my bachelor's degree. Yes! <laughs> I only have two years left because I did take my associate's degree earlier and the credits are due, they do transfer. So I only have to, um, I think just two years, yeah. And, oh, oh my God, I'm excited, but also I am terrified because Let's be honest, I am getting old. Okay, so what I'm doing, <laughs> I am picking up this color right here, which, which is just like a Tatooine, and I absolutely love the shade right here. It's perfect for a transition shade, at least for my skin tone. So yeah, I am going to school. I'm so excited about it, but I am also scared. I hope I can do it because, let's be honest, I have... Um, I have been, I am a little older, you know, I'm getting to that age when I'm like, my brain cannot, cannot process information as fast as it used to be, or cannot keep information inside as much as it used to be. So, yeah, once you hit a, a 30, it just like your brain it gets to a, a, a stagnation moment and then it goes downwards from there. So, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, I'm saying, I just, I don't, I, I'm not feeling like my brain is as smart as it used to be. Okay, let's just put it like that. Um, so, I am, <laughs> I'm beautiful. 
but you know what i always say in my life you never know until you try so i'm trying and we'll see i don't think i'm gonna fail but even if i'm failing at least i tried you know what i mean at least i tried i gave myself <laughs> i hope i don't because i have to pay those fucking student loans back so um no we will do this we will do this we will get through it all right so next thing in here i'm feeling i want to try this one right here this is i have, I have not tried it yet this is droid protocol right here this is like a really dark brown and i'm just gonna put this one right in here oh i love that <gasps> yes oh that for a sultry look mm, 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 mm. yes yes mama okay so i'm gonna push it all the way in here in my crease a little bit oh yeah i love that you know this one I actually i feel like if you are somebody that wants just something really quick something that is more of a natural side i think you just put this you put mascara and you're done you don't have to do anything else girl this is it this is it that's it these two shades right here you're done girl you don't need anything else but if you want just a little bit more more well keep on watching because we'll, we'll get there <laughs> Well, I'm thinking to go with baby face right here. And this is absolutely gorgeous mint color. Look how beautiful that looks. <gasps> Oh, love it. Yes. I love the way it looks. So we're going to put this in there. Yummy, yummies. And if you're wondering if I do watch this show, well, the answer is yes. And I'm a big fan. Big fan, okay? Big fan. I cannot wait Fridays to watch it every single episode, both me and my husband will. Friday night, that's it, dinner time, and in front of the TV watching it, okay? <laughs> that's what we do. I love this color, it's so pretty, and it looks so good on my skin tone, gorgeous. And again, if you feel like it's all mad, if you feel more of a natural type of girl, just put your mascara and go, go ahead and work the store. <laughs> but if you want just a little bit more, and I do, I do I always do just a little bit more I want just a little bit more um I want to put a little bit of this one right here that is called the force this little glittery sparkle ah oh, so pretty let's see how it transfers on the eye oh yeah oh, so gorgeous oh girl this is Pretty. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Oh yes. Okay, I'm gonna go and put it in my other eye and then I'll come back. Alright, so I totally love how this looks right now. But definitely need to put something in the front. So uh, let's see, let's see in my inner corner. I'm thinking to go in with this one right here, which is called right hand mando. Just kind of get a little bit. Oh my god. Yes. That is pigmentation coming through, girl. Oh, yes. I love it. Now, next thing, let's see what we're going to do under my eyes. I'm thinking the best to go it will be this dark green, I think. That is called Float Your Crib. 
let's just do this one under the eye. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit under the eye area. And then on top a little bit with just a clean brush. Mm. Oh yeah. And then I am going to go with one of my favorite eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. This is Physicians Formula. And I think you heard me so many times talking about this one. It's the Sexy Booster Cat Eye from the Cat Eye Collection Liquid Aligner. Love this. I can make a wing liner with this so, so easy. It's the easiest one out of all the other ones that I have because I do have others. But this one, it's, I believe, is the easiest one to create a wing line with. All right, now that we're done with, with the eyeliner, it is time for mascara. And one of my favorite mascara, it is this one from... Marc Jacobs, this is at Lash Mascara. But another one that comes close to it, it is this one. This is my number two mascara. This is KKW Mascara. Absolutely love this one. But we're gonna definitely gonna go in with Marc Jacobs right now. Mascara is done. Now let's go and play with lips, <laughs> I don't necessarily have a favorite lip liner. Well, I did have one. I think it was from Revlon or something. I tried it. I put it on my lips. I really loved it. I thought I bought another one, but I cannot find it. I don't know what's going on. Who's coming into my house and selling my makeup? Is it you? Is it you? Because I don't know what the hell is going on. I remember purchasing another one when I finished one. And I cannot find it. I, I just, I don't, I, I don't know what's going on in my world, okay? But the well, next one that is very close that I really, really love is this one from KKW. And this one is in uh, New 2. And I love this color because it's a really dark color and it's so pretty with some like nude lip a uh, lip stick and very easy to use for lipstick i don't necessarily have a favorite lipstick i do have a lot of lipsticks but not necessarily a favorite lipstick but one that i did use a lot is this one from colourpop and this one is going north and this is from frozen 2 collection and i like the color of this one it's more like a plum. But still has more like the rosy tone to it. Really like it. It's really, really nice with this lip liner. And my favorite, this is going to come as a shock, but my favorite a lip gloss, not a lip gloss girl let's start like that i'm not a lip gloss girl but when i do like to play lip gloss the best formula that i found is this one i know you're gonna be like what the hell are you talking about a fenty i have fenty don't get me wrong i like fenty too but this one i feel it's better i don't like to have a slippery lips so to speak so this one i'll show you it looks really nice without making my lips look like mm, they're just gonna burst or something like that you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it but i just don't like that feeling like having something on my lips that keeps moving around like crazy uh and it's sticky you know what i mean and this one it is not it has nothing like that and it has just gives you a little bit of a shimmer glow to it but that's it it doesn't make it look immensely crazy and big you know it still keeps it in the natural side and this one is in froze yeah this one is in froze all right for highlighter 
this one is gonna be controversial one um because this one it is the one from uh jaclyn hill and this is amped and it's the loose highlighter absolutely love this one absolutely love this one i know a lot of people were like are still bashing her and going against her i have nothing against her she did her thing got her punishment it's time to move on um and it's a such a beautiful color i love it so much look at that just look at that <sighs> yes and i like it just because it's not that much like oh my god in your eye in your face this is more a little bit more like you can decide how much you want to add and how much is too much for you you know and it just kind of gives you a little bit of the glow the glow from within it's not like you see the sheer glitter glitter spread around your face i hate that look this one is just that glow look at that and there you have it what do you guys think do you like this look do you want to recreate it what do you think about the palette i personally absolutely love the palette and these these are definitely still my favorite product if there weren't some i already talked about i already touched on that how how's your life going let's finish it off with my favorite uh spray this is the setting spray this is from color park pretty fresh oh, so good all right i see i'll see you all next time bye